Well, we're starting this edition with some breaking news uh, coming in as far as uh, Sister Abaya's case is concerned. Can I Catholic Church has defended the convicts in the Sister Abaya murder case. The statement released by the church says the allegations against them are unbelievable. However, we respect the court verdict. The accused persons have the right to go for appeal against the verdict and prove their innocence. However, the archdiocese is sad and sorry in the developments. We'll try and go across to my colleague Ashwin who's got us the latest. Ashwin, as far as the Central Bureau of Investigation is concerned, this was considered to be one of the most toughest cases that we have basically seen as the CBI continues with their investigation. Now, this is certainly surprising when the church essentially now coming across and somewhere down the line questioning this entire investigation that has been carried out by multiple teams of the Central Bureau of Investigation. Absolutely, this uh, the statement which is right now given by the church, if you still notice, all throughout the last 28 years, they have never asked that an urgent uh, investigation is required to find out the truth with regard to this uh, death of uh, uh, the sister who belongs to their own diocese. Instead, they have been protecting. Uh, it is very important and pertinent to say that throughout this investigation, 17 days, the Kerala police had investigated this matter. During that time, the police officials who were part of this investigation, it was found out they had uh, sabotage, they had destroyed evidences. Then later, it went to the crime branch, the straight crime branch. There too, the KT Michael, who was later been arraigned by the CBI as one of the accused in this case, had also tampered with this evidence. There were so many uh, dramatic events that has unfolded, which clearly indicated that the church was trying to suppress the truth and it was trying to sabotage this investigation. This was the most uh, important case and throughout uh, the last 28 years, this had always come forward, the church's involvement, even one of the prime witness coming on record saying that he was offered lots of money by people belonging to the church was also uh, there. Similarly, so many witnesses who had turned hostile. So clearly in the last 28 years, the church had given too much pressure to uh, sabotage and turn, to make this uh, whole uh, murder into a suicide. That is why even CBI investigation, it was also very pertinent to say that one of the uh, uh, SP, one of the DYSP who was investigating, the CBI in DYSP was investigating, he was forced to resign. He made a voluntary retirement. And after the voluntary retirement, he had come on record to say his superior, who was uh, Mr. P. Tyagarajan, had forced him to make it into a suicide. So such was the pressure that was put by the church over the years, over the last 28 years. These are all matters of record. Now, if you corroborate that with the statement, even now the church has not made any solid uh, statement which says they are happy with this probe or they have they are glad that the real perpetrators of this crime has been found. Instead, the, they clearly are indicating that you know, it is unbelievable right. that accused uh, the, the two people who belong to their child, father, Thomas Couture and uh, 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 Sefi, they're saying that it's unbelievable and they have a right to go to Supreme Court and High Court to fight this case. So it is clearly very disappointing to say the least. Right, Ashwin. Well, there's one thing that's absolutely clear. As far as this entire investigation is concerned, when multiple teams of uh, the Central Bureau of Investigation was carried out, as rightly pointed out by Ashwin, there was a huge pressure that was basically mounting on the central agency, especially from the church. And now this entire statement coming in certainly comes across as a rude shocker when this investigation has finally come to a conclusion. Thank you very much, Ashwin, for getting us the latest.